Hey guys, I need to figure out some better lighting for my bandsaw. I have uh, this sort of aftermarket vehicle light. Picked it up from Princess Auto. Got three of them for a pretty good price. I got the last three in stock uh, a number of months ago. And I had set it up on the bandsaw to give some, some light around the blade there. It works good, but it's heavy. And it gets pretty warm. And I'm trying to look at a better way of getting some light in around the blade there. The Laguna one, I think, is $300 Canadian. And that's not going to work for me. I have set up with these. Uh, I guess they're for putting fluid onto uh, a lathe or that type of thing. You know, they, they kind of stay in one spot. But this thing is so heavy. It just keeps falling out of place. So I need to work on something better. I do have those cobs that I used to put uh, some light on the chop saw. So I'm wondering if I can use those on this. I'm gonna poke around and see what I can come up with. All right, I have it all set up here where I've made an array of six of these cobs. I'm going to re-solder on new leads because these are too small and then drill a hole in the middle to mount, or for all the wires to go through after I get it all mounted. So I'm gonna pitter-patter away at that. All right, well, uh, the shop dog is probably barking at some rabbits out behind us. Uh, I was able to finish uh, the new platform up. So just a little piece of hardboard, all uh, painted up on the back here. I put a half inch piece of plywood and then the nozzle portions of the adjustable arms and uh, screwed them in. So that's good to go. It's still a bit tacky. I'm not sure if I should put these on or not. Um, I kind of bent, pre-bent the wires and got them ready to slip through the hole. All the wires will just nicely fit through the hole. They'll come out the backside. I'll terminate them with a, uh, another wire to hook into the entire component and it'll be a quick release system as well. So I'm going to work on that. Uh, I'm just going to let this uh, cure for a little bit longer. It's been overnight now, but again, still a bit sticky. That might actually help these to hold on there. I'll figure that out in a bit. All right, so it's all done up, all kind of wired in, soldered in. On the back, I used these electrical connectors. I like them when I got a ton of wires to all fit together. The uh, Basically it's a copper or brass sleeve with a set screw that you tighten on the wires and you can put a whole bunch of different wires in there and it can take quite a few. So I find these really really effective especially for this type of thing where I got all these tiny fine strands and that type of thing. So I'm going to clean those little wires up zip it all together, clip it into place, and hopefully I'm gonna have a nice, bright sort of floodlight for the bandsaw. Weight-wise, this comes in at about 125 grams. The other one I had was over 550 grams. So this is gonna be staying in place and it's gonna be much, much lighter. Okay, lighting update is all finished. I'm really happy with it. This turned out really well. It's a nice little floodlight. All the wiring tucked in nicely here, zip tied up, all the way connected to the wire going down the back of the saw. I did extend these by another three to four inches just to bring it down a little bit further. It, uh, it gives a lot of light and with some of the wattage saved, I was able to reconnect all the other LEDs on the bandsaw. So I have much more light onto the table. Everything's so spread out uh, with so many extra bulbs that there's very little shadow uh, when I'm using the saw, so that's better. This can even tilt that way to illuminate the workbench if I really needed it, but it's gonna live mostly here. Otherwise, this turned out really well. So a couple pieces of wood, a couple wire nuts, some SMD, uh, LED cobs and we're good to go. So go light up your tools everybody.